Calculations indicate this volcano is about to explode. Slide down to the bottom before it's too late and don't worry about me. Save yourself. Damn. Slide down the volcano? Oh, here's the question. I'm happy for another slide. Like, fuck yeah. But fuck Spyro. Come here and it's just like, oh, this volcano is about to explode. Get it, better get the fuck out. I don't know what those are. I guess they're just supposed to be like lamps. Oh shit, we got both. Sorry, Sparrow, that's a bit awkward. Slide down the I'm sorry, I cut him off. Hang on, I wanna... I wanna listen to him. You almost made it, Spyro. Try sliding a little faster next time. His voice Slide sounds a little weird. I kind of like this song. I'm not saying it's great, but kind of nice. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> it's actually surprising. Like this one feels like. I guess the the one we did before in the the honey the honey world or whatever that one feels like a lot more forgiving like you had a lot more open space but here you're you got a lot more jumping and there's a lot more tight paths. I'm always worried with those ones because I'm worried that the game just straight up isn't gonna read my jump. Nudge that analog stick is... Oh fuck, I can't... I couldn't even tell that that was the drop there. That was so dark. I couldn't... I couldn't tell at all. I kind of want to listen to this song just on its own to see if I think it's actually that good or not. These slide sections are actually pretty fun. You know what I think would be kind of cool if there was a studio out there that kind of just like focused on doing remasters, you know? Or even like reimaginings, you know? Just because I think there are some games out there that have promise, but because of one reason or another, like they weren't received well, or whether it be poor technical performance, or didn't receive, like just some something in the game kind of stopped it from getting the attention it really deserved, right? Because I would kind of like to see this and the other Spyro game, not that I've played the other one, the Hero's Tale. Oh my god, that scared me. I would kind of like to see, you know, uh, if they both got like a remaster and you could fix, like you could fix the performance issues in here and the character models and that kind of stuff, like fuck. Like I think that would be pretty rad. And I think these slide sections are actually pretty fun. They really do. I don't, like they're, they didn't have these in uh, the original trilogy, right? It helps that it's a lot, for the most part, it's a lot smoother. I, I love how I say that and the frames drop like right then and I'm like, oh right. This is, this is, uh, Enter the Dragonfly. Don't, don't forget about that. We made it. I don't 
don't know how he got down here. You made it just in time, Spyro. Here, I found a dragonfly on my way down. I would still like to know how you got there. Hey, it's Sarge. Sarge. It seems as if the volcano has stabilized. Wanna try sliding down it again? Generally, I think the sliding is kind of fun. I hope there's at least one more. <laughs> there's only one other stage, so don't get my hopes up too much, right? There's still another, um, I don't know what you call it, hidden hidden portal somewhere in the stage, right? Is it really 1.22 p.m.? I started at like 10 a.m. I do have work tonight, and there's other things I wanted to do today. More in terms of cleaning, though. I don't know, if I feel like it, I might have to leave this for, uh, I might have to finish the game next week. Next weekend. At the very least, I'm a little less busy this week. Last week, I actually had 37 hours. This week, I only have, um, 29. So I'll have one more day off, at least. It matters more to me nowadays, uh, to have, to have more days off, because... I just feel more stressed at work and there's more stress. Just life in general is more stressful, right? Can we agree on that? Just with the way the world is, like that generally just more stressful. Is that fine is that a fine statement to say? I didn't even see the platform. I'm kinda just trying to make sure I didn't miss it. going on there. You see that? Huh. I do wonder if there's actual some some kind of difference between uh, some of the breaths. Like, say the lightning breath has better reach or something like that. I don't know what the shortcoming could be for it then. So maybe you can't spam it as much. I don't know. It's not like I'm testing this stuff. Is that the shield? We're gonna have to go in the lava. Oh shit. And I'm dead. There's nowhere for me to go. Oh, you... Fuck sakes, game. Hey, <laughs> work. Oh my god, it's like right on the edge too, no wonder. So I wonder if those are the... The things, the 1000s, they are 1000s or whatever down there. That I have to hit with ice. This is safe. They're literally standing right on lava too. I don't really feel like it would matter. I would think ice breath wouldn't work too well.
Oh, so another shield power up. We gotta go back though. destroyed my lab and ran off with my equipment. Kogan. Um, hello. <laughs> oh, um, here's Spyro. Say, I, I don't suppose you could help me get my equipment back, could you? Great. Thanks, Spyro. Well, you, you, you see all those R1000s out there? Say, borrowed my equipment. All I need you to do is to get it back for me. <laughs> Say, borrowed. Oh, that's all you want me to do. Uh, and how exactly do you want me to do that? There's a lava pit out there. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it just so happens that these scientists here have needed to go on to the lava also. We therefore develop these devices that you can use too. Here, let me turn it on for you. There. Now all you have to do is pass through this gateway and you will be able to walk onto the lava without being hurt. However, Spyro, the invulnerability that you have to the lava won't last long, but you can come back and recharge if necessary. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some rip talk butt. Good luck to you. What was that? It was like really deep. Need to make sure I pick it up. I'll go ahead and get the recharge since we're back here anyway. Oh, hello. I don't know how you can fly right above the fucking lava and be fine. And when I was still in a, when I was still in a chat one game. Oh, I would get like a cool like texture around Spyro or anything. Oh yeah, you know what I totally forgot about? The that the uh Pokemon Presents happened. And of course I know like I remember watching Arlo um like after the present happened and I was I just wanted to see like reactions from some other people. I kinda I enjoy that kind of stuff. And I remember Arlo like talking like oh maybe the the remakes aren't gonna happen because you know we've been talking about them for so long and since when does Nintendo I guess you could say that's where the, like where it's not technically Nintendo right it's Game Freak but it's like what since when does you know them in general follow what people want the most they usually do their own thing yada 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 but look at this Oh. Um, and then he fucking does his a fake surprise when they announce it. And it's like, okay, dude, listen. <laughs> I get it, but don't talk about like they're not gonna do it, and then do the fake surprise. Like, I don't know, because he seems serious about actually thinking they weren't gonna do it. Uh, I suppose it's not a big deal. Um, it made me, I'm happy because for those of you who don't know, um, I started with Ruby, uh, the Hoenn region, and then I, like, Sinnoh was 
where I put the most time in, where I really like. I don't get me wrong. I loved Ruby, and I you know I enjoyed that a lot. Welcome to the Tower of Scary and Ridiculous Heights. <laughs> Climb to the top of the tower, you will prove yourself worthy of the tower's secret treasure. Why a tower exists in the middle of the jungle is a secret hidden away ages ago. My goodness. Look at this. Oh boy. Are those fucking spiders? <laughs> oh, you make me tighten up game. Gonna be in like a 2D kind of way, maybe. Do you dare climb that tower of hell? <laughs> oh my god. Looks too scary. That's the spirit, Spyro. Watch out for falling rocks and blow dart traps. Uh, there are some mean looking spiders up there, too. Sure are. Uh, just avoid everything and get to the top. Oh my god, the life bar is flipping out. Anyway, um... But the thing is, like, I I got Ruby from a... That's kind of brutal. Is that even possible? Maybe if I go all the way left. Look at the face. Please go away, spider. Tank it. Oh, okay. Straight, it makes you let go. So. Problem is, like, can I actually attack the spiders at all? Oh, I can't. Okay. I don't know how much that's going to help me. I can only do that when I'm actually on... Oh, shit. God damn it, game. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Good one, game. Good one. You got me there. The old invisible go through the wall. <laughs> He's not even talking. Yeah. I feel like even he knows that I broke the game. You sure got me there, game. The old invisible wall. The old clip through the wall strat. Kind of trippy. Oh, for fuck's sake, Spyro. One hell of a drop. I just need to thread the needle. I guess they forgot to record the dialogue here, or the coding just broke. I think we'll try that same kind of way because I, I actually like it.
It's kind of weird to me that they decided to just go with like straight on rock faces. Finding that sweet spot. Ah, oh, shit, here we go again. <laughs> Um, alright, so I got, I got Ruby from my cousin, who got it from a friend of his. So there was a save file on it, I don't ever think my cousin played it much, I'm not sure. Um, and this is also how I kind of fell in love with Salamence, was I remember getting on the game and looking at the party he had, and one of the first Pokemon I saw that caught my attention was Salamence. So that's kind of, um... How I fell in love with Salamence. So I just saw that. Why is this suddenly hard? Yo. Oh, fuck off. Man. So I just gotta find that sweet spot again. Make sure I go up high enough. These darts have been the bane of my existence. Oh, what? Bullshit. I'm sorry, that looked like I made it. Um. So, like, because before that I had played Leaf Green, and it's funny when I look back because I always thought, I mean, it's possible I saw, like, trading cards and, uh, the anime, maybe a movie before then. But I guess like in terms of when I actually played Pokemon, it couldn't have been um, earlier than 2004 because the first one I played was Leaf Green that my cousin had. No. Find the sweet spot. Oh. Coming so hard suddenly. I just gotta get by the, by the fucking darts. That's all I gotta do. It's the only that's what's been bugging me the most. It's been the most difficult. The game doesn't like me trying the same path over and over and over again. I hope I'm I gotta make sure I have this all in one video. <laughs> Just like name of the glitch fest. <laughs> Just the part of the game where I broke it a hundred times. I guess I was going too fast for the game. Uh, excuse me, game. The fucking hitboxes on those are m just mean. They're mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So it's funny when I look back because that means like, because the um, the leaf green and fire red. Those were 2004, if I remember correctly. Oh Jesus. So I can still jump. I was I was kind of worried that maybe the jumping would be handled here differently. I guess jumping is an option. Uh, 
Oh my god, game. I know some of you are probably yelling at me. Take a different path. I'm sorry, I'm stubborn. I didn't think this, of all things, would be one of the most difficult things I would struggle with. I mean, there's been at least two times where the game just straight up put me through the wall, so that's cool too. Why am I actually falling down? He slides down. Okay, I'll take that. You bitch. Just absolute bitch. Hooray! <laughs> Finally. That was terrific, Spyro. I've never seen anyone get up here before. Really? You're up how here. did you get up here? Oh, that. Well, there's a hidden elevator that only I know how to find. But anyway, uh, you Asshole. have to keep it a secret. But there's not really any treasure up here. <laughs> I never actually thought that anyone could get to the top. What? So I did all that for nothing? Well, I guess I should give you something. It's not much, but I found this dragonfly hiding in my secret elevator. Here, you can have it. <laughs> hey, it's Warren. Warren. I don't have any more dragonflies to give you, but you can try climbing to the top again if you want. You know, uh, just for fun. You do know what fun is, don't you, Spyro? God, everyone's okay. like... This everyone seems to think Spyro doesn't years. know what the fuck fun is. Never mind that it's subjective, but this is a kid's game. I'm not going to get into that. 